Today's match is in the books, and now it's time to break it down. Welcome to Cougar Post Match Live. Toward the byline, cross coming to the sixth. It's headed in! Michaela Coulahan! Post match coverage of BYU women's soccer is brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union, guiding you forward. Smith's, low prices, market fresh at Smith's. And by Zion's Bank. For banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge, Zion's Bank is for you. Now let's get you back to the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. All right, so back at Southfield here in Provo, Utah, Greg Rubel and Avery Walker, your commentary tandem tonight. BYU's defeated Texas A&M by a score of 2-0. BYU improves to 5-0 on the year. The Aggies fall to 4-1-2, and so the Aggies did come in undefeated on the year. They had four wins and two draws. They take their first loss on the year. BYU came in perfect on the year. Four wins, no ties or losses, and they stay perfect, now going to 5-0. and And again, as good as BYU's been, for years and years and years. You've got to go back almost a decade to find the last 5-0 and start. Uh, as you note, Ave, you've played on this team. You know how the schedules go. Uh, Jen tests her team every year. And often in those first couple, three games, you might find a loss or a draw, but against a really good team. Well, this year, the schedule is still strong, but it's all wins. Uh, they go to the SEC. They defeat Alabama and MSU on the road to open it up, come back with a couple of in-state wins. Then they bring in the number 12 team in the country, and really, Texas A&M was uh, dominated tonight. The shots go 22-4 to in BYU's favor, 10-0 in shots on goal. All Cougars tonight. Yeah, I mean, everything you just said, it's it's kind of crazy to look at the, the, the past BYU Cougars soccer teams and know how good they've been and to realize how much better this team looks on, on paper. And obviously in person, we're seeing them bring in the number 12 team in the country. It's it's not a, an unfamiliar territory for them. It, obviously altitude, we kind of mentioned that, but they've played in front of big crowds before, bigger than this, and they just, they had nothing. Spanked like, them. Yeah, BYU just gave up nothing defensively, offensively. It was all Cougars. You say on paper, and on the paper I have in front of me, it shows 59 to 41 percent the possession edge in BYU's favor. Let's hear how BYU won this game at 2-0. Both goals came in the first half. Both goals came from the same person, and the first goal came in the 34th minute. Get out in front first here. Josie Gwynn gets into the 18. Josie with one last touch, plays it centrally. A turn from Flake, a shot, a score! Elise Flake with goal number five on the year, 25 on her career, and less than three minutes later, why not Elise Flake one more time? Lyman, far post cross, ricochet to Elise, Elise to her right, shot, and score again! Elise Flake with a brace, and the Cougars take a 2-0 lead! And that held up for the 2-0 win, and joining us, pitch side, it's Elise Flake. Hi, Elise. Hey, Greg. How you doing? Good, how are you? Very well. Nice job tonight. Thank you. So, uh, and until you score the first goal, not you personally, but until the team scores the first goal, there's that unease, right? It, it feels like you've got to run a play, but you got to put one in the back of the net. How relieved were you to see one's in, let's go play? Very relieved, yeah. Jen talks all the time about getting that second goal before half. So we knew that we had to score in the first half. I think we came out fire, and we came out getting lots of shots off the ball um, and just kind of going at them. I think we knew it would come. We just kind of kept pushing. This is not an individual question per se, but the goals are coming in bunches for you right now. How good does it feel right now for you as uh, as a forward up top? Oh, it's so fun. I, I came off the field in the first half, and Jen's like, are you having fun? And I'm just like, yes, this is incredible. I could not be having more fun. That's awesome. I know. Well, I've seen a lot of chemistry come from you and Michaela Coulihan. Like, what is your – obviously, I mean, you've got a lot of tenacity going forward. You have your style of play. But what was your goal going into tonight? Um, yeah, um, one of my goals going tonight was scoring first half. Um, but, yeah, like you said with me and Kayla, we've really talked about it lately and kind of finding each other and kind of connecting between us two. We know that we can be successful if we can find each other and find each other's feet and just kind of play around with me, her, and Cam. Yeah. And I think we did that great tonight. We found some openings um, in the attacking third, which led to the goals. So it's impressive that BYU scored 14 times. You've scored 14 goals as a team in just five games. More impressive is the one goal against and, and, and the goal came on a PK. So in the run of play, you've still got a clean sheet for the season. You know the offensive game pretty well. What can you say about the back line and Sab right now? I just love watching them. Like, I'm just standing up top, and I just see them destroy forwards, and they just shut people down. Holding them to three shots today was incredible. I'm just so proud of them and all the work they put in. And uh, and, and it's, it's a team that, you know, comes in with 12 goals themselves. They're undefeated on the year. They don't get a shot on goal off tonight, a single shot on goal. Yeah, it's incredible. We have great shot blockers, and our defense as a team is just so good right now. We're feeling good. What is your takeaway from this game? 
I think just keep rolling. We've gotten better every single game as a team, and I think we can just take that into next week. We have three games next week, so which might be tough, but just kind of focusing on UVU on, on Monday. Yeah, and keeping just, that confidence. Yeah, just get better every game. You've already put yourselves in the top ten by what you've done so far. You might even move up I higher, depending on what happens in front of you. W was tonight's game any kind of statement maker, uh, taking a, a top 15 team like this and, and handling them the way you did? Yeah, for sure. I think more than anything, it's just revenge from last year. Uh, we knew that um, it was a great game against them last year, and we didn't come, come away with the win. So we knew that that's all we wanted, was just to beat Texas A&M. So it was so fun. It's been a long time since BYU's opened up 5-0 and uh, to start a season. It was nine years ago, the last time they had a 5-0 and start, and that's where you are right now. But all you're concerned about is 6-0, and right? Yep. Next game. All, all we're worrying about on Monday. You've got, you've got UVU, in-state game again on Monday. Then you're back out on the road for the two games against Kansas and Kansas State. But you're already road-toughened, aren't you? Thank you. Coach G. Guerrero coming by to <laughs> say hi. Classy act there, and he's won a ton. Of, he's won almost 500 games in his coaching career, by yeah. the way. That's what a, good a great program. That's yeah. a good program, right? Yep. Okay, so uh, you're already road toughened, though, right? You're going back on the road next week, but you've played in tough places to play already so far this year, right? Yeah, uh, we're super excited to go on the road. It'll be fun to play Kansas. It'll be, it'll be good. Yeah, we've never, you all have never gone down there, right? Right, yeah. Yeah, that'll be cool. Well, okay, going into UVU, the last time this program played, that program was in Provo, not Orem. Have you, we've never, you've never played up there, have you? I haven't. Yeah, so what's your, what's your goal going into it just make a statement <laughs> it'll be kind of weird yeah i've never played there before but i know a ton of those girls were mm -hmm. i'm friends with most of them and so it'll be a super fun game i think it's always fun to play people you know but yeah, just go yeah, get a hat statement. trick for us yep. please I'll, I'll try i'll try <laughs> uh 26 goals on your career now tied for 13th all time at byu congrats on tonight and we will see you next week thanks elise thanks greg all right that is elise flake jen rockwood coming up next you're on the new skin byu sports network Welcome back to Cougar Post Match Live on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For the final word on today's match, let's rejoin Avery Walker and Greg Rubel. And we are joined by the head coach of the Cougars, Jennifer Rockwood. It is our post-game coaches interview brought to you by Zions Bank for banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge. Zions Bank is for you. Career win number 380 tonight for Jen as BYU stays undefeated on the year. The first 5-0 start for the Cougars in almost a decade. Coach Jen Rockwood, congrats to you and your team. Just a really comprehensive effort in winning this one here tonight. Yeah, thanks, guys. It was a fun game. Just so proud of the girls. They think worked so hard. And, you know, we stuck to our game plan. We wanted to come out and just attack, 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 and uh, try and take away, um, you know, some of their rhythm and make them uncomfortable. And, and the girls just kept going. And we just went for 90 minutes. It was, it was uh, we said right at the end of the game, start to finish win. It was one of those nights. Yeah, and, you know, I, we talked at halftime that, uh, you know, they went after them and the goals didn't come until later, and we didn't slow down. We just kept going, and then they came quick. And uh, our challenge was to see if what kind of next-level team we are, and uh, we'd find out in the next 45. So we wanted to try and get that third one, and so we pushed for it. It, it worked for us in the first half, and, and the girls did an amazing job to continue to attack, um, to, to try and not let their attacking dangerous players get kind of into a flow. Yeah, you still had a really good rhythm going forward and, you know, just under 50% of your shots on goal coming from a lot of different players, not just, you know, your top two. Yeah, and that's uh, that's where this team is real special. We have such a, a solid and experienced back line, you know, and then Sab in the goal. And then um, we just have a lot of great attacking players. And so we're trying to encourage them to, um, you know, go forward, um, win those 1v1 battles, get the ball in the box, get your shots off, and just make your opponents as uncomfortable as you can. You'll take the shot numbers from tonight, I know. 22 shots, almost half on frame, 10 of them, and two find the back of the net. Conversely, not a single shot on goal allowed by a team that had scored 12 goals already mm -hmm. with a lot of talent there offensively mm -hmm. and only four shots on the night in total from Texas A&M. Yeah, like I said, you know, that that uh, that defense just starts uh, with our forwards and our press. Um, yep. And, uh, you know, we went from Southern Utah where we didn't press much because they kicked everything out. And so we didn't press as well as we would have liked to in the Utah game. And so it's something we talked about this week. And we spent some time defensively just kind of fine-tuning things. And, it, you know, the girls just uh, carried it over in this in this game. And, you know, it's, it starts with our forwards. Our, our midfielders were winning balls. And then it allows the defense to do what they do, which is, you know, just take opportunities away from our uh, opponents. Three straight clean sheets for you guys, and the only goal you've allowed all year came on a PK. Yeah, you know, defense wins championships that we, we always talk about. You know, we focused on it the first couple weeks, then we went into our attack. And after the Utah game, you know, they were dangerous. They got in the box a little bit more than some of our opponents. And so it's great when you can take some film and learn from some mistakes. 
when you win and play well. And that's what we tried to do. And the, and the girls cleaned some things up. And we knew we had to be uh, aware of their weak side and their ability to serve dangerous balls in. And we tried to take that away from them. And, and the girls uh, did a great job of that. Yeah, I mean, BYU let Texas A&M have nothing. Like, there was not, you know, an advantage on the wings or up the middle, in the midfield, out of the back. And, you know, I got to hand it Lizzie Braby going forward. Like, she's so technical. Mm -hmm. She's fantastic. You know, she's um, you know, she hasn't scored yet, and she's a little frustrated with that. But I told her, Lizzie, you're a game changer. She's so dangerous, and she allows so much more things to happen, and it really takes out – you know, this side of, of our opponent's attack, it just has to try and slow her and being down, and that's really tough to do. And Lizzie's just so dangerous down there, and it just created so much tonight and so fun to watch. Props to Josie Gwynn as well. She scored a goal by attacking the left side of the area last week or a mm -hmm. couple weeks ago. She assists and get, get, and gets you off and running by doing the same thing, attacking that left side. Yeah, and, and uh, this formation we're playing opens up our wing play for our outside backs, and that's the purpose of holding Cam and Elise high and central um, it's something that a lot of teams haven't seen before and it holds the back line because they have to honor their speed and their quickness and that opens up these big gaps for our withdrawns um, and uh, they're just getting more and more opportunities to go at a back line and create 2v1s and just make teams play more defense than they'd like at least by the way on a roll right now she scored in four straight games she has six goals in those four games She's just fantastic. I mean, just her highlight reel from tonight is going to be really fun to watch because she's just so dangerous. When she gets the ball going forward, you just feel like she's going to put it away, and, and she's just doing an amazing job. To be scoring these goals consistently at the level of competition, uh, and knowing that you're being keyed on, um, it's, it's pretty fantastic. As good as you guys are year in, year out, 5-0 and starts are rare. 2010 was your last one. Yeah, I mean, we try and play really competitive teams and programs and on the road, and, and um, you know, we were challenged, and uh, we've risen to each challenge, and, and now we can, you know, take pride in that and um, move forward and be hungry to be even better. You know, we've, we've got to recover now, and uh, we got to play better on Monday night, and so we're just trying to get better with each game. And take pride in winning your in-state games. You've already won two, beat mm -hmm. Southern Utah and Utah, and now you get UVU at their place on Monday. Yeah, those in-state games are always tough no matter what, no matter what either of us have done prior to. It's an in-state rivalry uh, competition, and um, I'm sure we'll get a – UVU's best. I'm sure there'll be a fantastic crowd, um, yeah. but uh, you know we can embrace that. I think our fans will come over and watch us over there too. So hopefully, fun atmosphere. yeah, hopefully we'll see a lot of uh, a blue. Uh, we'll be wearing royal, so hopefully we see a lot of royal in the stands. Yeah, hopefully get up early and be able to let the subs go in and keep the legs fresh. That's the always the plan. You never, you know, you never <laughs> yeah. can expect that's going to happen. But uh, you know, we're playing really well right now, so we just got to keep on uh, being hungry to get better with each game as we prepare. Well, keep on keeping on. It's been fun to, to watch. You guys are playing so well right now. I feel the team getting confidence with every game. And we saw it again tonight. Congrats, Jen. All right, thanks, guys. All right, that is Jennifer Rockwood, and that is our Zions Bank post-game coaches interview. And that's going to wrap it up from Southfield for tonight, where almost 4,000 fans were on hand to see BYU go to 5-0, and end the Aggies' unbeaten run to start the year, and prolong the Cougars' perfect run to 5-0. and for Avery Walker and our crew back at BYU Radio, engineer Sean Fay, control board operator Tanner Roll, coordinating producer Terry South. We had intern Max here at Southfield. Who was interning back at BYU Radio tonight? I'm very curious. Intern Jeff. Intern Jeffrey Carroll back at BYU Radio. By the way, uh, intern Max, his sister Nat came in tonight, played well. Good job for the Clark family tonight. So for everyone there, and thanks to ESPN 960 as well. And to the crew here at BYU, my name is Greg Rubel saying, in the meantime and in between time, this has been BYU Women's Soccer, where the Cougars win it 2-0 tonight on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Good night. So long from Provo.